Hi guys and welcome to today's video on substitution. Now in the previous video um, we looked at the cosine rule and we had to use information that we were given um, in the diagrams of the triangles and we had to substitute it into a formula and that might seem quite difficult because the formulas are quite complex where you've got a squared b squared um, you've got cos of a so much stuff is going on and it's the same for the sine rule where you might find it tricky to substitute values straight into the formula so what i'm going to do in this video is go through um, simple examples of substitution and the best ways um, to substitute values into the formulae so that when you get to the cosine rule and the sine rule and lots of other different formulae that you have to use, you can easily substitute the values that you are given into them. So here is an example of a question that you could get. And what it's saying, it's about a netball team. And you've been given an equation or formula to use where the W is the number of wins. D is how many times they draw. And L is the time is the number of time that the netball team have lost their game. So the question is: find the number of times the netball team wins if they lose five times and draw four times. So I know there's quite a few words there, and there's an equation, there's a formula, there's um lot there's lots going on here. But actually, it's very, very simple if we can condense this information into a few words. So the first thing we need to do is understand what the formula is saying to us. It's talking about the wins, the draws and the losses. So all we have to do is find out if we have the value of W, D and L. So we can uh, write a little list. So we can say uh, W, D, L. W, we don't have that. That's what we're looking for, the number of wins. So we can put a question mark. The number of draws is four and the number of losses is five. So all we have to do is write it into the equation. W is equal to three times four. We can put that in brackets. So this just means three times D. So three times four plus the L, which is five. So here, 3 times 4 is 12, and 12 add 5 is just 17. So the number of wins is 17. So that was one example um, of a substitution question that you could get. Um, there are other ones. We can look at another very simple one. And here, it gives us a formula x is equal to 2y so 2 times y plus the 3 and it's asking us to find the value of x so x here when y is 4. Now this is even simpler than this first question because it's telling you exactly what to do you don't have to condense the information down uh, into a few words or a few numbers so here all we do is we have x is equal to 2 times 4 because y is equal to 4 plus the 3. Now we know that 2 times 4 is 8 and we've got 3 and 8 plus 3 is 11. So when y is 4 x is equal to 11 and that's our answer. Um, what I'm going to do is go through one last uh, question and it's very similar to the first one. So it's a scenario one. This has got some context behind it. So let's just do that. So here we've got another formula that they've given to us. And they've told us what the um, letters represent. So here we've got 4t plus 3 is equal to a. t is the cups of t. And a is the number of activities. Now the question says, if Bob has four cups of tea on Monday, how many activities will he take part in? Now, it tells us the day and it's talking about activities. But all it's, the we could think that, hang on a second, it's talking about Monday, what about Tuesday, what about Wednesday, what about the rest of the week? 
and what kinds of activities is he taking part in but what we need to focus on is just simply the activities the number of activities so how many activities so we don't need to look at um, the day or what kinds of activities just the number of activities so don't get confused um, with the question just look at what is simply asking you and these type of questions are normally you just f take out numbers from the question numbers out of the um, given information and you plug it into the formula that's given so here um, we have t and we have a so t um, is will be equal to four because he has four cups of tea and we're trying to find out the activity so we just do four times four because four times t and we add three which is equal to our a that means that four times four is 16 16 add three is 19 so therefore a is 19 that is the number of activities that Bob will take part in if he has four cups of tea on Monday. So there we have um, substitution and there's three examples here of how we substitute. Remember that all you have to do is take out the values that are given in the written um, question and then it's just a matter of rewriting the equation or rewriting the formula with the values that are given. If you like this video, hit the subscribe button and thank you very much for watching.